The fountain is flowing. We're back at Belle Isle for a final time. I'm Dave First, the preview of the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear. And so many great memories of this 2.3 mile layout. Elio Castroneves' first ever fence climb happened here after a win. Graham Rahal's doubleheader sweep a couple years ago. Uh, that was also a fond memory. All these drivers hoping to make more. This weekend is the final race before this event moves back to the downtown streets of Detroit. So everyone's trying to get in one more win in this finale. Count Marcus Erickson among those that, that hold this event in such high regard. This was the site of his first ever NTT IndyCar Series win. Not only does he return here as the reigning Indy 500 champion, but he's also got the NTT IndyCar Series points lead as well. But history is not on the Swede side, not one bit. The last driver to win the 500, then to go out and win the next event was Juan Pablo Montoya some 22 years ago. But the rest of this paddock, all trying to hope to, to bounce back after disappointment at Indy. Of course, if you don't win Indy, you're disappointed, right? And that includes the driver number five, Errol McLaren SP, Pato Award. Remember that shot of him after the 500, literally just draped over the car in exhaustion. Well, he bounces back here, the site of his only street course win. Uh, how about Team Penske? So strong out of the gate this season, but now suddenly find themselves fourth, fifth, and seventh in the points championship. No team, though, has won more here in Belle Isle than Team Penske. They've got seven wins. And further up here in the paddock area, you've got Scott Dixon and Chip Ganassi racing. Scott begins the rest of the season down 60 points in the championship. Uh, the wrong side of a double points weekend for the 500, but he's won three times here. Most of anyone outside of Elio Castroneves, who also has three. Could this be the jump start for that seventh NTT IndyCar Series championship? Look, a lot of legendary drivers have kicked off this event with wins. I'm talking about uh, Michael Andretti, Bobby Rahal, uh, the late great Greg Moore, Danny Sullivan. You've got 26 drivers in this paddock area hoping to close out this era the way those guys began it. Follow us on IndyCar.com, the IndyCar app powered by NTT Data with 11 onboard views for you on Sunday. Second screen opportunities are all there, timing and scoring, radio network, and a reminder, you can see the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix beginning Sunday at 3 Eastern live on USA and streaming live on Peacock Radio.